Creeper and today I'm back with a brand new Doctor Who Gmod video. It's been a while since we've done one of these. It's a bit of a voiceover this time opposed to actually playing it live so you don't have to hear me clicking about on the keyboard. Uh, today is the 13th Doctor's TARDIS, a one we've been waiting for a while uh, for, but there is one that's finally been released. Now it is worth noting that this is a work in progress and is unfinished currently, but it's a good example. Um, well, it's, it's a good first point, I suppose, to actually see this TARDIS in Gmod. It's been a while and we still haven't had one. And now we have, and it's absolutely wonderful for a work in progress, that is. The exterior looks clearly quite basic. There's no extra skins, as I'm showing you on screen. And um, yeah, I mean, it looks quite nice. It's to scale. It's got the right um, things in place. The materials aren't exactly bang on, but um, that's totally fine. That'll obviously get worked out when it's a, not just a work in progress. Um, the actual modeling of this is absolutely incredible. Um, looking at even just the windows there, you can see the little hooks uh, look absolutely fantastic. The uh, actual box entranceway looks great. I'm a huge, huge fan of what they did there, especially with the sort of walkway in and the entranceway. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I have got a couple missing textures, by the way, so that might just be my issue. You'll see those little purple things on the screen. That's obviously not the guys who made this. It's not their fault. It's mine. Um, but yeah, they've done a fantastic job of recreating the console. I think it looks absolutely splendid, genuinely wonderful. Um, really lovely to see an actual recreation of this. It feels like people have been asking this for a very long time in the Gmod community, and it's great to finally see it. It's been a long time since I've done Doctor Who Gmod content, so it's really great to actually um, get on this again and get a jump on this game and actually see a brand new TARDIS um, here. I'm sort of walking around the set, and you can kind of see uh, how to scale it looks. It looks great. I am crouching, by the way. That's not my normal sort of walking, just so I could walk slower in the game. So it's not oversized. It is perfectly normal sized, and it is done brilliantly. Um, so yeah, it's really well put together. There's a few little features which I'll show you right now, which is the sides actually can move individually back and forward. Um, I did get stuck in the wall here, which is a bit unfortunate, but that is my own fault. The table comes up and down, which is really great. The uh, obviously texturing hopefully will get sorted out when it's not just a work in progress, but initially it's still very nice looking. As you can see, the pillars look great um, as well. I believe that other wall does also uh, move. Going around the console, there's lots of different obviously button, buttons and levers. Uh, the only one I could get to work was one around the other side, which actually does turn the TARDIS into its blue mode or somewhat, again, work in progress. It looks very nice. It would be nice to see the whole console change sort of color and lighting and everything, but obviously that is something that might get worked out. The look of this is very, very nice uh, anyway. To even have the idea of the blue mode included from Series 12 is very, very nice indeed. As well as the staircase, obviously, which I'm showing you right now, which again looks fantastic. Very nice to see uh, the detail and workings here. Generally, yes, obviously, the, I, I, I love the texturing to look as realistic as possible, um, and it's not my favorite TARDIS rewrite mod and edition. However, for a work in progress, it is worth noting that this is genuinely incredible and I'm very, very happy with it. So for those who do still play Gmod and still fancy having a go about on there, um, this is the kind of thing I like would definitely recommend. Um, there's things that need ironing out and there's things that need work, but generally it looks great. Obviously this one does go into the Vortex as well, but when I tried it, all I got was this sort of yellowy backdrop opposed to anything like from Jodie's era, which is a little bit of a shame. I would have been, it would have been a nice little detail to see Jodie's Vortex, but maybe that's something, again, that will get ironed out in the future. I really like the way the TARDIS set works here. You can sort of move the walls around to sort of have your own custom version of said interior if you want to have them in different places or you want to um, recreate certain scenes through the sort of Gmod cameras and you want, like, the certain walls in certain places. I think it looks great, and I think the guys behind this did a really, really good job uh, in terms of the modelling, actually getting it to scale, getting everything in the right sense. If you've seen my recent content, you'll know that I've been on the set of this TARDIS and again, walking around it, it does seem very much to scale and very realistic. So I have to commend them for that, basing it just off photos. They've done a hell of a job and it is basically the most bang on accurate um, TARDIS I've seen yet, if I'm being honest. Obviously, it would be nice to see a bit more texturing and lighting um, implemented in the future to make it look just that extra bit more realistic as well as obviously the custard cream dispenser you got the lever and thing for it there i'm hoping eventually there will be a mode that does drop out of custard cream but generally they've done a great job genuinely very impressed and a great little mod that uh, i'd recommend you downloading if it's for you anyway that's basically it quick little videos like this um again we haven't done a gmod one in a while but if there's an update to this if there's another tardis console you'd like me to look at do let me know in the comments and i will in the future thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like comment below for any more suggestions in the future subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already 
And yes, check out my Twitter, Instagram, all that sort of stuff in the description below. And I will see you all next time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.